Campbell Stokes Sunshine Recorder was invented by John Francis Campbell in 1853 and later improved upon by George Gabriel Stokes in 1879. The original design by Campbell consisted of a glass sphere set in a wooden bowl. Stokes' modification was to introduce the metal frame with a groove for the use of paper for daily recordings. The instrument is set up on a flat base. The sphere is set at an angle using the metal frame based on the location's latitude. Markings on the side of the instrument help set it correctly. Recording paper is placed in the groove on the central part of the frame daily. The objective of the instrument is to record sunlight duration over a 24 hour period. The sphere magnifies the sunlight, which burns the paper, leaving a mark. As the day progresses, the point at which the sunlight is magnified upon moves. The markings on the paper are used to indicate when and for how long sunlight duration occurred. Most of the paper is curved as seen in the picture. Curvature depends on where the instrument is located globally. The World Meteorological Organization set out guidelines for the Campbell Stokes recorder in order to homogenize data globally in 1962. The instrument uses time as the physical quantity for sunlight duration. The WMO defines sunshine duration during a given period as the sum of the time for which the direct solar radiance exceeds 120 watts per meter squared. In the polar regions of the world, cold conditions hamper the recorder's ability to work. Heated versions of the instrument are used to prevent the device from freezing over. Another problem with the instrument is that it can obtain burns underneath cloud cover. This can make the data obtained unreliable. The paper has to be changed every 24 hours. This makes it non-viable for automatic weather stations and a tedious task for manned stations. Its accuracy can be unreliable at times, which makes its digital counterpart a better option.